cat 21 slot 3 question number 18 quantitative aptitude so the number of distinct pairs of integers m comma n satisfying mod of what plus mn is less than mod of m plus n is less than 5 now this is your question now in order to solve this we should realize that if mod of a is less than mod of b it is equivalent to saying that the square of a must be less than the square of b so applying this concept we have the square of 1 plus m n is less than square of m plus n that's the first thing we'll do it's a beautiful question so 1 plus m square n square plus twice of mn is less than m square plus n square plus twice of mn next you can cancel this twice of mn and twice of mn and take m square plus n square on the left hand side and you will get 1 plus m square n square minus m square minus n square is less than 0 and we should remember that both of them are less than 5 so we have 1 minus n square minus m square is taken as common and we get 1 minus n square is less than 0 which means that 1 minus n square into 1 minus m square is less than 0. Now, if product of two numbers, let's let's just understand this. If product of two numbers a and b is less than 0, then one of them has to be positive and the other one must be negative. So, either a is positive and b is negative or a is negative and b is positive either of these two cases will exist so we use the same information here let's say this is a and this is b so our case one will be a is positive while b is negative and case two a is negative while b is positive now let us just take case one first if i take case one it means 1 minus n square is positive now since n square cannot take any negative values 1 minus n square and and since m and n are integers now we are also given that m and n are integers so therefore n can take values like 0 1 2 3 and so on but can it really take any values other than 0 for example if n is sorry other than 1 other than 0 yeah so if n is equal to 1 1 minus n square will not be positive it will be equal to 0 so I can't take n is equal to 1 or any value of n greater than 1 so the only possibility is n is equal to 0 if n is equal to 0 we have 1 minus m square is less than 0 so this will be 1 minus m square will be less than 0 for any value of m which is greater than 1 so m can be plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 3 plus minus 4 and so on till infinite but since we also have a right hand limit less than 5 what does it imply it implies that I can't have m as 1 because if I put m is equal to 1 even 1 minus m square will reduce to 0 so the only possible values of m are plus minus 2 plus minus 3 plus minus 4 plus minus 2 plus minus 3 plus minus 4 so case 1 we get n is equal to 0 and there are 6 values of m plus minus 2 plus minus 3 and plus minus 4 now let us consider case 2 in case 2 we have 1 minus n square is negative and 1 minus n square is positive which is less than 0 
again by a similar reasoning m must be zero and the only possible values of n that will satisfy will be plus minus 2 plus minus 3 and plus minus 4 so there are six solutions when m is zero there are six solutions when n is zero the total number of integer solutions is 12 and that is your answer